Question. Discuss does Eliot distinguish between unification of sensibility and disassociation of sensibility? Answer. The concepts of unification of sensibility and disassociation of sensibility are associated with the poet T.S. Eliot. But it's important to note that Eliot did not directly introduce these terms himself. Instead, they were coined by the literary critic T. Hulme and later expanded upon by Eliot in his critical essay titled The Metaphysical Poets, published in 1921. In this essay, Eliot discusses the work of several 17th-century poets, including John Donne, Andrew Marvel, and others, and explores the changes that occurred in English poetry during that era. 1. Unification of Sensibility In the Metaphysical Poets, Eliot highlights the metaphysical poets of the 17th century, particularly John Donne and Andrew Marvel. As exemplars of a poetic tradition that successfully achieved the unification of sensibility. According to Eliot, these poets were able to fuse intellectual and emotional elements seamlessly in their poetry, resulting in a richer, more complex, and more profound poetic expression. The metaphysical poets were known for their intellectual wit, elaborate conceits, and intricate use of language and imagery. They explored abstract ideas and philosophical themes while infusing their poems with deep emotions and personal reflections. Their poetry went beyond simple description or straightforward emotional expression. Instead, it combined intellectual complexity with a strong emotional impact. For instance, John Donner's poems often grapple with profound religious and philosophical themes, and yet, they're also infused with intense emotions of love, desire, and spiritual yearning. In a valediction, forbidding morning, Donna's exploration of the soul's connection with a loved one during physical separation exemplifies the unification of intellectual and emotional elements. Eliot praises the metaphysical poets for their ability to balance the seemingly incompatible aspects of human experience making their poetry multidimensional and more engaging to the reader. He contrasts this unified sensibility with the perceived shortcomings of modern poetry. 2. Disassociation of Sensibility Eliot argues that over time, there has been a decline in the unification of sensibility in poetry, leading to what he terms the disassociation of sensibility in the works of modern poets. This disassociation refers to the separation of intellectual thought from emotional expression, creating a division between reason and feeling in poetic works. According to Eliot, modern poets have lost the ability to effectively combine intellectual complexity with emotional depth in their poetry. Instead, they tend to focus solely on abstract ideas or purely emotional states, resulting in poems that lack the depth and resonance found in the works of the metaphysical poets. One of the reasons Eliot attributes to this disassociation is the rise of a more scientific and rationalistic worldview in the modern era. With the advancement of science and the enlightenment emphasis on reason, emotions were often regarded as irrational and secondary to intellectual pursuits. This shift in thinking influenced poets to separate emotions from intellectual contemplation, leading to a more fragmented and emotionally detached style of poetry. Eliot's critique of the disassociation of sensibility in modern poetry serves as a call to return to the integrated and complex mode of expression demonstrated by the metaphysical poets. He suggests that by reuniting thought and feeling in poetry, Modern poets could revitalize the art form and create works of greater depth and significance. In summary, Eliot's analysis of the unification of sensibility and disassociation of sensibility in the metaphysical poets reflects his evaluation of different poetic traditions and their approaches to intellectual and emotional expression. The essay provides valuable insights into the evolving nature of poetry and continues to be a crucial text for understanding the complexities of poetic expression and its historical development.